the definition for ego. Um, to me, ego is is a belief system that is the denial of love. It's an attempt to deny the awareness of, of love's presence. And so, it sets up like a cover or a shield to cover over this experience of love. And for everyone who comes to this planet, you know, the ego is is there in, in awareness. Uh, no one comes to earth uh, without the belief in an ego. And we could say by definition, nirvana or heaven is the love, and that this is an attempt to run away from that love, to hide from that love, to cover over that love. And so even the ego is a, a belief system that invents substitutes. So it's invented things like romantic love to take the place of divine love. And it's invented uh, electric light bulbs to take the place of heavenly light, you know, wisdom. And it's made up all kinds of substitutes to take the place of love. So it is just a belief system and, and of course in miracles, the way Jesus talks about it, he said, he says, you made the ego by believing in it, and you can dispel it by withdrawing your belief from it, by unplugging the power of your mind from this, this erroneous, uh, faulty belief system that is attempting to deny love. And in the end, when you have this experience of the peace, then you know, it's an awareness that, that the ego isn't, uh, that love is all that there is. That's the whole point of the spiritual journey, is to have an experience that love is everything. It's all in all, and there is nothing but love. The Beatles were on the right track with All You Need Is Love. You know, everybody resonates with that song because they were really on it. And this world is just an attempt to deny that love. Um, it's, it seems like in this world, with, with recently with tsunamis and earthquake and radiation and so forth, things like that, there seems to be lots of things in the world that human beings are afraid of, but that's all part of a distractive device to cover over this fear of this divine love that's, that's deeper inside, that's deeper, deeper beyond the, the subconscious beliefs of fear, there is a sense of love. It doesn't make much sense initially when, when you hear the terms fear of love. It's like, afraid of love? I'm not afraid of love. I love love. That's usually the experience people have. But all the projected fears about survival of the body, and earthquakes, and plagues, and tsunamis, and so forth that involve the body, that's all part of a distracted device. And it's really part of what we could say a fear of intimacy, a fear of really knowing who you truly are. The power, the magnitude, and the glory of, of the spiritual identity is, is hidden or covered over by these distractions of the world. So, um, in one sense, Jesus said, I'm calling you out of the world. He, he didn't mean like calling you away from the cities into the forest or something like that. He just meant calling you to transcend these ego beliefs and to recognize and, and remember your spiritual nature, which is just pure love and light.